just five days before Memorial Day, the unofficial start to summer that Officer Terry Orozco was shot and killed right here in Omaha. Now on Labor Day, the unofficial end of summer, nearly 35 more officers have been killed while on duty. Jenna James joins us now with a message from the Omaha Police Department. Jenna. Dave, that message continues to be support blue. Later today, there is going to be a rally here at Central Headquarters. They're asking everyone to come out, and they know that the community will come out and say enough is enough. The momentum we have here and the positive police community relations is really something other cities need to look at. Talk with Omaha police officers. Support Blue is here for us. It actually does help encourage us uh, throughout the day to continue on the fight. I get a hug from you? And they'll tell you they feel the love. Thank you very much. But with a violent August nationally, 16 in line of duty deaths since August 1st, they want Omaha's love to be an example for the rest of the United States. Right now, they're kind of wondering, where's the support at? from the community because the silent majority has yet to come out and say that they support police officers. They came out Friday at a funeral for slain Texas officer Darren Goforth. They also expect to see it later today at the funeral for Illinois officer Charles Joe Glenowitz. But officers want to see it all the time. That's why OPD is stepping up the movement, hoping the support will come even when there isn't a tragedy. They're hosting a support blue rally this Labor Day, right beneath the glow of Officer Orozco's blue light tree a tribute to fallen officers, they'll offer prayers. To show the country that the citizens of Omaha are supporting their police officers here, the Support Blue campaign has taken off, and the citizens of Omaha are doing a great job of telling their police officers, we support you, we back you, we appreciate the job you're doing. 